At this year's Paralympic Games, look out for 24-year-old Allie Truitt. She's one of 33 swimmers representing Team USA and calls her ability to compete a miracle. Ready, go. Back in the water is where Allie Truitt belongs. As a little girl, she swam for fun. By age 12, she was swimming to be the best, says her coach, Jamie Barone. One more, one more, 31-1. Allie's the type of athlete that does anything that's asked of her without asking questions. In high school, she broke records. By college, she was a top swimmer at Yale. And her specialty, swimming long distances fast, would be her saving grace. This has been definitely a roller coaster of a journey, and you know, I'm just over a year out, and there are definitely still good days and bad days. You see, last year, Allie almost lost her life. Just two days after graduation, a shark attacked her while in the waters of Turks and Caicos Islands. She was with her old teammate, Sophie Pilkington, who had just graduated from medical school. Sophie was in the water with me during the attack, and she was my captain of the swim team my freshman year. After the shark attack um, and, and bit my foot and part of my leg off, we swam ourselves back to safety to the boat, roughly 75 yards in the ocean. And immediately upon getting on the boat, Sophie tied a tourniquet on my leg to stop the bleeding. On Allie's 23rd birthday, doctors amputated her leg. I was feeling really fearful of the water. Hearing the sound of water at that point would trigger flashbacks to the attack. But fear's grip held no power. You have the shark attack and then you get back in the water in a matter of... I got back in six weeks after for the first weeks. time. And I was at my first competition three and a half months after the three attack. Three and a half months later, you're competing. Yes. Okay. Last month, we joined her at practice okay. in Connecticut. Just, like stroke your arms on your back. One at a time. She works out Five, six days a week. Four. Using a prosthetic three, leg in the gym. Two, in competition where it's not allowed, she's learned to swim without it. At the U.S. Paralympic trials, she placed first in the 100-meter backstroke, setting the American record. I'm one of many of para-athletes who are absolutely incredible and just refuse to give up. Do you see yourself as past the point of asking, why me? I think, you know, there will always be a piece of me that wonders that. A friend gave me a book early on in my recovery called When Bad Things Happen to Good People. Mm. And the message in the book is we can't control what happens to us, but we can control how we respond and how we make meaning of it. An outlook that proves Allie Truitt is already winning.